today, and that heat is actually going to stick around for the work week, which is very exciting. Yeah, traffic starting to pick up a little bit there on the Bourne Bridge as they head into the rotary. Saw a nice boat there going under the bridge. It's a beautiful look. Uh, meteorologist, Chief Meteorologist Kevin Lemanowitz is in this morning for Jason. And Kevin, uh, all we're talking about here, really the big story, is that we could be at the beginning of a heat wave here this week. It sure looks like it, Jason. If not today, certainly tomorrow. But I think many towns are going to hit 90 degrees today, so it may end up being another four-day heat wave in, in towns. It really, not everybody hits 90 today, though, so it will end up being three days starting tomorrow for those. But sunshine out there. Had one cluster of showers moving to Vermont. That's gone. Never even made it to New Hampshire. You have a better chance of seeing an isolated shower the farther north you go today. But there will be a few that pop up this afternoon in southern New England. Most of you will not see them. Temperatures are going to be in the 70s now, but climb through the 80s by lunchtime. And with dew points in the 60s, you're sticky, but it also means enough water in the atmosphere to kick off a shower or two later on. I don't expect anything strong. It would be quick. And again, most of you will not get one. Still, the possibility exists and then it's on to the heat and humidity building right through the middle of the week just in this morning we have learned five people were shot overnight outside of a party in brockton this happened on lauriston street in brockton police say four men from boston and one from everett were among those injured in that shooting three of the men had to be taken to a hospital in ambulances the other two were able to bring themselves in for treatment Brockton police right now are working with the Plymouth County District Attorney's Office to investigate. Well, if you live and work in Everett, you might want to be sure to wear a face mask. The city is now making it mandatory for everyone to cover their mouth and nose in public. Boston 25 News reporter Natalie Rubino is live outside Everett City Hall this morning. And Natalie, if you don't follow this order starting tomorrow, you could face a pretty big fine. A $300 fine, Jason and Crystal. That is if you do not have a mask on. Now, the mayor made this announcement yesterday. Under the new mandate, children two and older must wear a mask that covers their nose and faces. Same with adults. This is all public spaces in Everett, including outdoor spaces. Now, of course, if you are inside eating and drinking, you are allowed to take off your mask. However, you do need to put it back on when walking around the restaurant. The mayor made this announcement yesterday and said, in part, I know these measures may seem extreme. However, this virus is extreme. As we continue to grapple with the spread of the coronavirus, the response to mitigate the current pandemic and flatten the curve has to be more vigorous. Now, this new mandate goes into effect tomorrow, so on Monday, and the mayor says he has advised police to strictly enforce it. So if you are not wearing a face covering in public in Everett, you could be fined up to $300. Reporting live in Everett, Natalie Rubino, Boston 25 News. Who the hell is in charge? Really? The president, the mayors, the governors? City councilors, town councilors, what? I mean, you know, they all have their own shit going on in this whole country. Like, the mayor has the authority to do this? Who the fuck is he, right? This is like crazy shit. So everybody who work, who lives and works in Everett, whenever they leave Everett, they don't have to follow this fucking dickhead's rule. When they go back, they got to do this, right? Children two years old or older, these people are fucking crazy two years old wearing a fucking face mask breathing carbon monoxide and those other fucking poison fucking people better wake the fuck up to this shit man really better wake the fuck up